Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet Lincoln Click? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve it, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Hey, man, grab those keys.
Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He greased his partner to make it look good. But if you got doubts, I'll take the chance. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Drop his ass already. We ain't got time for this. Take it easy, hand in town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, not like he'll be able to spend it. Feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and a leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault, but not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigga before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about 
Let's get our hands on that money. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now, here we go. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? <sighs> Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,536. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. Here we are. Put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yeah, some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. No, I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't get soot all over the goddamn place. Used to be we'd have a nigga come in with a hose, wash all the shit off the walls. <laughs> God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. All right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know that house we've been renting now? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. I told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's, uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Not only that, I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and they go over there at night and play cards. 
Told John when they moved in that I wouldn't tolerate niggas on my property. Neighbors see that, they start questioning me, wanting to know the kind of people I associate with. Let the niggas play cards with other niggas, I say. Fucking assholes. Sorry. It just gets my blood boiling. Lincoln, get over here, man. Yeah, we shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing.
Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Crazier than a shit house rat! Got a beat on! Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You can take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me as how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> Hmm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Hmm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Gone away. So Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the wall. Oh, fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Anyhow, like I was saying, ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. <laughs> Fucking around aside, that was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. 
Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll steer clear of the high-low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Once you get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double dated. Well, who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? Oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Oof. That woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey, man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna want to dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact. She got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around, asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your pecker's gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you the back door. Excuse me. Excuse me. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clay home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always did love corn whiskey. <laughs> I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Good to see you. You're so good. <laughs> <laughs> nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> Now, who wants to get shit-faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation. Fear. Guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room, and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another.
Man, <laughs> whiskey's going hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal.
Welded, most likely. Three-month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. Gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure. Sir. Thanks. Nice to see you. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessing's mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble! Run, Regine! Once Ooh. we're done with you, Lincoln, Sammy's next! Shit! What? Don't take a body! Oh, wow. Shoot him! Oh. Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Yeah. You and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velour started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. 
Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, here. Yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est suscite l'hostilité. You show this is how you want to play this. Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. How many men we send in? Two teams. One's gonna hit the bar, the other's going up. The Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get to Sammy, we're doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man is dead. Him, Alice, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. Papa Legba, open the gate. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Think the boss was worried Sammy didn't bob Makano. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Makano don't care who's handing it to him.
Petit pour maman, fais dodo, petit pour maman, si bébé pas fait dodo, grand loulou va manger. Si bébé pas fait dodo, grand loulou va manger. Motherfucker. the chance, asshole! Fuck you! Who won the Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. Come on! This one my play is your Zeke! Come on! I play to... Fuck me! Not on something white now! The man you're talking about took me in where I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you! You can't take a show! You fucking pig! Damn you to hell! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me! Use me! I kiss you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over? <laughs> this is never going to be over. 
Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Just had to start something. Sammy's going to I need cover! Let me at this fucker! I'll put one in his ear! Get over here, damn it! Don't think about it! Shoot him! Let me at this fucker! Trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. Well, with them out the way, things will calm down. We're back to the way they should be. Damn, you're scratching the paint! Like I was saying, 
And with them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. The Ellis, we don't need to talk about. I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow's gonna be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we gotta be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we gotta worry about. Hey, man, be careful. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, well, that's not something we gotta worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Fang Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, I pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Damn, his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Dear listener, 
Yes, thankfully. Fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm uh I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or there'll be hell to pay you here. Park over to the side. Clay! Christ, man! Get a look at you! I bet those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French Ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn if that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, so it's worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> that should have wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with your threads. Take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln. Good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and 
Then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the Feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They're still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all, always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of not talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here. If you're worried about Sammy, don't you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano. I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what do you really want to hear? That we kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction, you get the fuck out of their way. Can't see a goddamn thing.